Hezbo's. Uh, hey, welcome back to Hesby Street. I'm back too. We're going to have a good time. Hey, um, if you haven't subscribed to our page, which page? Yeah, all of them. All of them? Why not? Yeah. We're on stuff. And leave a review. A nice review. Or a bad one. Just a review. No, I like the nice one. Would be better. Right. But if they are like, if they have like a real problem with us, like it'd be nice to know. Yeah, but that's more of like a send us an email. Don't post that for the whole world to see. <laughs> <laughs> SBStreetPod at gmail.com. There we go. That's enough, right? We can start. Zach doesn't want to talk. He just wants to make facial expressions. <laughs> <laughs> what's what's wrong, Zach? Yeah, you want what's up, dude? You guys haven't mentioned Stitcher yet. Yeah, we don't. I wait until you talk about Stitcher I thought you were or a Deezer, Deezer. <laughs> and then I talk. <laughs> it's my contract with Are them. we even on either of those? I'm signed to both of them. Oh, nice. Yeah. So that should probably be something we should be splitting three ways. No, no, it's a purely Zach Chabaloni thing. I go to events. I actually can't autograph anything anymore unless it's in regards to Stitcher or Deezer. <laughs> You see the tone that you set, Emily, with your intro? Now it's, this is what you did. How you did made I do this that? monster. It's not Emily's fault. It's just the nature of this business. You knew it was going to tear us apart. <laughs> you knew our success. Yeah. Absolutely. I, I'm surprised we've made it this long. Yeah. I usually like really love like repetitive jokes, like callbacks uh-huh. and stuff, mm-hmm. and like a weekly joke about a thing. Mm-hmm. But not this one, one? Is, it's never hit me. It's, it's never, uh, it's <laughs> never uh, gotten, gotten me. That I'm actually sick to my stomach <laughs> that this is even close to a joke to you. <laughs> oh, Stitcher t- and Deezer are real businesses. Tell us about them. What is Stitcher and what is Deezer? They're both great companies that I'm. Um, I'm actually. Thank you for bringing that up. They're <laughs> uh-huh. both great companies that I am super excited to be partnered uh-huh. with. Um, you know, started from the ground up like now they're here i relate to yeah no the, you're thinking of started from the bottom oh my bad yeah yeah um <laughs> and what are they they are what a... differentiates them from one another <laughs> what would you say is the difference between deezer and stitcher i mean that would be like asking me to pick my two favorite cousins i'm not asking you to pick which one's your favorite <laughs> that's I'm saying, actually a really easy question yeah, what everybody the has like their <laughs> favorite two cousins yeah. Yeah. That'd be like i asking have me kyle <laughs> I'd be like asking I'm me Jade. to differentiate my cousins from each other. It's funny because Cooper listens to this. Uh huh. But I not. but I picked Kyle. <laughs> well, you get two. Yeah, you get two. Nope. I picked my one. <laughs> okay, Cooper is my number you, two. Yeah, you can have Cooper. That's your second favorite cousin. Yeah, well, Cooper is cousin. Cooper, Cooper is Emily's guru. Yeah. We mm-hmm. went into this. He's yeah. a shaman. He is. How's that been going? Great. Has he been guiding? He's so supportive. Has he been guiding you in a good direction? Yes, always. So it's your always life's positive. better now than when your relationship with him started, as far as him guiding your. I don't know what he is. Um. Yeah. I mean, I I appreciate him way more now that he's uh, helping me. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I look for in relationships: <laughs> is just someone to do something for me. I like the way mm-hmm. that he takes an interest in making my life better that makes sense yeah is there any sort of reciprocation because i don't feel that way about <laughs> kyle at all i should probably jump on the cooper jump i'm changing cooper yeah wagon. kyle's out cooper's in yeah uh no i don't you don't reciprocate uh, well anyway. okay he, he sends me a lot of memes okay <laughs> <laughs> and i'll like give it like a thumbs up or a haha thumbs up <laughs> <laughs> that's bullying <laughs> I do that. People Thumbs need up to know. To a meme? People need to know that it wasn't that good of a meme. Ooh. But I do like thanks for thinking about me. But like this is what that meme did for me. Yeah, it's the most energy I can give it. I mean, at that point, a thumbs down I think is nicer. My I love my favorite thing. This is gonna sound terrible. Is on a like a sext thumbs up a sext <laughs> like a nude like a nude. <laughs> <laughs> Have you gotten I didn't one? Say nothing. Yeah, of course. You've gotten a thumbs up. No, I give the thumbs up. Okay. Yeah, he gets mm-hmm. nudes. Yeah, it's weird. 
I don't. I've I've never I've never solicited or asked. I don't really ask. I allude to. You allude to. Yeah. So you go like, bet you don't have a tattoo. No, it's not anywhere. No, it's not like uh, bet you don't have any nipples. It's not bet you don't. <laughs> hey. <laughs> Try and prove that you have no nipples. <laughs> but you can't. I've heard that women don't have buttholes. Bet bet. I'll bet you thousand dollars you ain't got a butthole. <laughs> the, the dark Prove web it. of Torio's sex. Bet you don't. Bet your boobies don't. Can't do like the nipple tassel thing on them, <laughs> where you get the tassels going in unison. Bet. That's how it happens. Yeah, that's how I do it. That's um, hot. Yeah, dude. So, um, have you ever given more than a thumbs up to a nude? And two thumbs up doesn't count. Oh. I can't. Do, what I like to do is I thumbs up the photo and then I send the thumbs up emoji. So, it's she's like on both sides. She's like, whoa, <laughs> clingy much? <laughs> two thumbs up. That's a good review. It's, just, it's all the thumbs I have. What I else do you want? I didn't know we were just throwing around the <laughs> thumbs up emoji. It's like the, it's right. like the L word. So... You said that Emily giving a thumbs up's rude to a meme, but you don't even answer texts or memes. Yeah. So, like, what do you do that's so much better? Ignore. <laughs> How is that better? Thumbs up is like, okay, bro. Ignore is like, <sighs> you know, it has it has very like. <sighs> You're energy. wrong. It's meaner and more bullyinger. <laughs> more bully. Bullyinger. More oh. bullyish. Oh no. <laughs> It's <laughs> gotten so much worse <laughs> since I stopped bullying you regularly. <laughs> so, what have you been doing this week? Um, you owe an explanation to the Hezbos. Oh, uh, for not posting videos? Yeah, there's no videos. This I know. Week. It, so, I got... It better be whoa. a sweet week. Really? Yeah. I haven't posted... Yeah, I haven't posted videos anyway. <laughs> <laughs> um, I was vaxxed. And so was I. Three I days of like severe, severe. <laughs> Don't do this. I'm not kidding Don't you, dude. Do I am not <laughs> shitting you. Elizabeth had to just stop and laugh at how <laughs> sick I was. You know, like when I would do my P90X workouts in, in my room. You're the worst. And sick I would person. do the like. <laughs> uh, uh, <laughs> yeah. Like, dude. <laughs> Sounds like you are violently masturbating. <laughs> <laughs> like leave your dick alone and explore other parts of your body. You can't. That's what my sickness Wait, sounded do like. Do you moan when you masturbate? It, it for sure. It's a silent thing. It for sure sounded like I was having tantric sex for three days. <laughs> I was just like, okay, okay, okay. Uh, no, no, no. I would just talk. I like. I had a nightmare that lasted into a day. Like, it was, like, borderline hallucination. Dude. I'm not making any of this up. I'm not making any of this up. This yeah. is exactly what I'm... You're I just trying to get on Rogan, is what you do. <laughs> no. And it probably is a good strategy. No, dude. I'm anti-Rogan now that I have it. You all better fucking get it. <laughs> Emily, <laughs> fucking chop, chop, dude. No excuses. You um, got the J&J? I got the J&J one shot, and I would recommend spreading it out over two <laughs> I, yeah. shots. I'm doing the two shots. <laughs> one shot was a doozy. <laughs> My body does not agree with the chip that has been planted in it. It fucked me up bad, like severely bad. I didn't have an appetite for like three days. But you look fatter. I could. <laughs> I sweat, and then I would just absorb it back. It was a weird... Um, I didn't sleep regularly, um, and I couldn't like I the most pulsing, throbbing. The, the hardest part of it all was the headache and the energy. <clears throat> like it, it felt like I just. I mean, I gave myself COVID again. Like that's that was the feeling. But you didn't have a cough, right? I didn't have a cough. I didn't have a cough, and I didn't have a fever, but I had like a bad pressure headache. Yeah, it's yeah. like like debilitating pressure headache. Yeah, like if I even made certain like wincing faces, did I'd you, be like. But did Ow. you ever think about taking? medicine no because he won't let you <laughs> well no no she was like dude i'll go get tylenol i'm like no i gotta let this vaccine do it yeah I, I was the same way i didn't want to like fuck up the vaccine fuck up the process. vaccines work yeah. is but that my, how it works 
Uh, yeah. They say about, maybe. The, the recovery of your body they say is your body taking the vaccine. You don't want to help your body kill oh. it because it, that's its training session. Right. Damn. But I I didn't, we got different vaccines, but like I was sick for one day and it wasn't that bad. It was bad headache and I was tired and then I was back. I was fine the next day. Yeah. Last night was the first time since getting it that I felt like, okay, I can like get some things done. And right. I spent all morning catching up. So the videos from last week's pod mm-hmm. are going to be coming out. And I'll roll them out with these this episode, too. Um, but it, I couldn't do anything. I couldn't watch any TV. Like, I'd put on a show, and I'd just, like, cover my ears yeah. and, like, roll over and try to sleep mm-hmm. and fall asleep for, like, 10 minutes and then wake up. It was brutal. Yeah, dude. being sick. So- <laughs> like, I always think, like, oh, I'm sick, but, like, I can do stuff on my computer. Yeah. Get some work done or yeah but it's like no yeah i totally. can't do a thing and you'd want to talk about me not getting back to text <laughs> i hope you didn't try to contact me the last three days because i would look at your text i'm like i don't care i don't care about any of you yeah i texted mm-hmm. you a few times i don't think i did mostly yeah, just because the padres were playing the giants right i think i started texting back last night oh yeah yeah, yeah. and i was like ah doesn't hurt to look at anything anymore <laughs> um it yeah it was a dark few days for me but I was super happy I, I got the Vax. And I was kind of glad I got J&J. Got it over with in one. Yeah. Um, but yeah, from what everyone else who I talked to who had... I haven't talked to anyone who got J&J. But everyone who did like Moderna or Pfizer, they complained about little things about it. But none of it was as bad as... Right. And and as bad as I thought. Like, I took it thinking, I feel pretty good. I'm sure I'll feel sick later. But I feel okay. And I went to bed and woke up. You ever like have to pee, but you don't want to get out of bed because it's cold out of bed. Mm-hmm. Uh, so I waited until it was like painful. I'm like, <laughs> I have to pee now, but I'm freezing. Mm. But it was like 76 degrees outside right. in the middle of the night. Just chills. So I got up and the chills were confused. Like I'm peeing and it's like warm, hot in my house. So I'm like, whoa, it's not that cold, but I'm cold. So I pulled out the weighted blanket and Elizabeth's like, what the fuck are you doing? Mm-hmm. and i'm like i'm cold she's like you're cold how and then she got mad at you for being sick <laughs> she remembered that i'm like oh yeah you um, got your shot today tony uh got the jj and it took him out for a day he said he got the chills real bad uh one day damn mm-hmm. yeah i don't my body i don't know if i gotta like start working out again or what my body was not up to the challenge it was brutal I wanted to tap out. And then I get in the middle of like my worst like moaning <laughs> headache, <laughs> like a ding. That's like, congratulations, you have the vaccine. I'm like, <laughs> I, <know. laughs> I did it. Yeah. But yeah, I feel a million times better today. But You're I've just have been to catching get a new up one on, soon. on my day job stuff. What? Huh? I'm going to have to get a new one. Yeah, you're just going to have to get another one. How long do they last? I don't know. You'll need a booster. Yeah. What's that again? What's the difference? It's just like re-up your vaccine. Yeah, it's like the flu shot every year. Yeah. We should stop talking about this because I don't really know what the fuck I'm talking about. <laughs> I'm, I'm really curious to like meet my neighbors again and like talk to them since the past three days of Elizabeth keeping all the windows open to keep a draft so that like the air isn't just stagnant, sick right. me. And just me moaning through my screen windows and all my neighbors could hear me like, oh, okay, <laughs> okay, no, stop, stop. I was like talking to yeah, myself. Yeah, you're a bad sick person. All day. Yeah. Oh, I'm a bad sick person, yeah. dude. You literally go, why did you do this to me? <laughs> when does my sickness stop, Zach? <laughs> yeah, you got me sick. Like I'm the decider That's another of all thing things. that you do when you're sick that I hate. When does this stop? When does it stop? <laughs> When does, when does the cough go away? <laughs> I'm like, dude, the CDC doesn't even know yet. <laughs> but yeah, now I'm like adamant. Go get vaxxed or I'm going to fucking fight you. Because I got it. And if you guys don't get it. I already have it. I already I have my mean, second shot. I'm talking to Hezbo's oh. and Emily. Well, they already said today, no herd immunity. Not enough Americans are going to get it. They decided. New York Times. Oh, that's cool. I have yeah. my appointment. Oh, cool. Yeah. Which one are you getting? On Thursday. Moderna. That's right. Um, but yeah, my parents are the, one of the people that are just like, ah, oh, we're not, you know, we don't feel yeah. like it's important. Damn. They're the most at risk in your family probably. So yeah. yes. And your mom's a nurse. They're not scared of COVID at all either. Yeah. yeah. My mom's a retired nurse. 
and yeah i don't know where they're getting their information right. probably you- like fox news but she also like talks to her nurse friends who are like doing part of studies and stuff that have convinced her like that they're gonna like wait how do you feel about your parents not getting it you don't care i don't really care because i'm like i don't really want it either but yeah. like in like our industry it's sort of like you need to have it or else like you're like judged it's selfish to not have it especially in our industry um i agree maybe. it's selfish to not have it period especially but if you're we going, don't have if you're someone that goes this. out i feel like if your parents probably it's <clears throat> less selfish because they're just staying they're, in yeah screens. they're like in the middle of nowhere um but like my mom doesn't want to get it i didn't want to get it just because it's like i don't know our bodies we just want them to not have to rely on those things but it's really the fear of like affecting other people and like i wouldn't want to be the cause of someone dying because i'm like i'm fine sorry you're dying right. sorry i carried it and didn't know mm-hmm. <clears throat> so and yeah. like you could lose work if you like test positive for covid and like something comes up they could be like well we're gonna go with somebody else because you have covid yeah so it's just the fear of like losing so you a have job prospect the altruistic zach say don't kill another person and the super selfish <laughs> emily so yeah. either way i'm not trying get <laughs> i'm not trying to be like i'm helping people <laughs> yeah i don't give a shit. you can take the high road or the low road either way it takes you to the vaccination super site yeah yeah dude i got my shot like in front of people like everyone because you got to wait there so they make sure you don't go into anaphylactic shock. Yeah, we all, I mean, we were all in line in our cars, but like, yeah, you can see people getting their Oh, shots. I went into a place and there's like kind of like amphitheater seating, like a little mini like college mm, yeah. class um, and they're all spaced out. But I just went and sat down in a chair like, you know, it's like the fourth room I'm in yeah. waiting spaced out with people. So I go into that room. I'm like, oh, she's like, have a seat right here. And I sit facing away from everyone. So I'm like, I guess they're all doing something else. You know? <laughs> and she, I didn't realize how quiet the room was. She, she said something like, uh, I have to warn you, this may cause anaphylaxis. Are you okay with that? I'm like, yeah. She's like, okay. I have to say that to everyone. But they didn't say that to me. She's like, I have one. Well, you didn't get J&J. I think that's like more of a... I mean, they still made you wait in case you went into shock. Oh, okay. Um, yeah, maybe they just felt like you can't handle hearing that. <laughs> uh, <laughs> So she made a joke. She's like, actually, one person was like, you know what? I'm good. I don't want to do this. <laughs> yeah. They panicked. That and they sounds left. scary. Yeah. And I guess she said the person has like had a history of anaphylaxis or something or going into shock like that. But they should have known that was <laughs> yeah. a possibility way before they sat in that chair. Yeah. But I think hearing it again was like, oh, this is maybe a sign. Triggered. And uh, she made that comment. And then the whole room laughed. And I was like, oh, it's kind of like a 90 person conversation we're having. <laughs> A weird feeling those amphitheaters yeah it's weird carry sound so then uh, i said uh a little bit about myself <laughs> <laughs> half moroccan half italian a uh, salami lake <laughs> <laughs> boo just one guy boos you <laughs> I, uh, it's funny. I was waiting. So you've got to meet with a doctor before you go into that room and he has to ask you questions. Damn. He, he went, he went through, intense. he went through a whole like a uh, check checklist on a computer screen. Super nice guy. And he's like, all right, I have to ask you like, have you had COVID before? Have you, did you, you know? say yes? I said, I'm pretty sure he's, and he laughed. I was like, I think we all, <laughs> 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 um, but like I could hear the person before me. It was just like a regular guy. And, and he's like, do you have allergies? Things like that. Uh, and then he asked the other guy questions and then I didn't qu- hear the full conversation. But he goes, you're pretty funny. Are you a comedian? And the guy goes, no, nah, I just tell things like it is, you know? <laughs> and then, uh, he leaves. So I walk in like <clears throat> tough act to follow man. Yeah. You gotta bring it today. <laughs> I go in there and I go, I'm actually, uh, I just moved to Los Angeles. <laughs> and he goes, okay, that's not one of the questions. <laughs> I go, I'm a, you heard of the punchline? <laughs> and he goes, I no. So are you do you are, do you have allergies? <laughs> you know, I'm allergic to uh any of my bits falling flat. Makes me very sad. <laughs> and he goes, Your bits? 
Uh-huh. And I go, yeah, my uh, stand-up stand up bits. <laughs> and he goes, your stand-up bits. <laughs> yeah. And I go, yeah. And he goes, you know what? I'm just going to answer these for you. <laughs> Why don't you go ahead and wait line at the next <laughs> So a new fan. Yeah. New yeah. fan. Fan of the pod. Oh, that's cool. Yeah. Uh, yeah, he went, do you have any allergies? I go, I'm allergic to Hesby Street. <laughs> he goes, Hesby Street? I go, yeah, you know, Hesby, Hesby like the podcast. <laughs> he, goes, he goes, what? <laughs> and I go, I'm allergic to Hesby. He goes, okay. The Hesby okay. Street podcast. <laughs> He's like, so there's a podcast called It Hesby makes Street. me laugh. Uncontrollably. <laughs> it's hilarious. And he goes, okay. Knowing that. What is it you're allergic to? And I go, I forget. <laughs> I'm uh, going to take the van up next week to San Francisco. I told Emily. Oh. Van l- life begins. How how moved in are you? Not. It's not going to be completely done, but it's got everything. It's I got, got the, the stove. I got the kitchen. I got lights. I got a ceiling, floor, walls, bed. So what do you need? Uh, I haven't a companion, a companion, <laughs> a dog. No, the sink. I won't have the sink done. Mm. Uh. So where will you pee? <laughs> I'm gonna just have to pee in a bathroom. <laughs> no, there's a toilet. You got oh, cool. that? Oh, you did go with the toilet. Mm-hmm. Your dad convinced you not to pee in a sink. <laughs> He's like, yeah. I can't believe I have to have this talk with you again, <laughs> son. The sink is not for pee I never said I would pee in the sink, like, willingly. I said, in a pinch, I'll pee in a sink. Done I mean, it before, I will do it again. If you're peeing in a sink, it is mostly going to be willingly. Whether you want to, like, build a context <laughs> around it. Like, you by yourself and you're being going, I don't want to be doing this. <clears throat> I am unwilling. I remember I was staying at uh, the North Beach Hotel, which is a hostel. And uh, Mm. you get your own room, but the bathroom's like on the whole floor. Is that the one above Cobbs? No, it's like, um, it's kind of above Non King or like right next to it. Okay. A lot of hotels in San Francisco do that. Yeah. Like shared bathroom. But you get your own sink and mirror, but no bathroom. Oh, yeah. In the the sink. So, yeah. It was like two in the morning. I back from my, I was like, I'm not going to go walk. It was a sketch, you know, it's a sketchy hostel. Right. I'm peeing in this sink. Right. And I peed all up in that sink. Oh, wow. <laughs> I peed up it. <laughs> it was a weird angle. That's gnarly. <laughs> I don't think it's that weird. To pee in a sink. Yeah, you rinse it. What was it? The sink like higher than your waist? It was higher than a toilet for sure. But like no, it wasn't. you had push a rainbow shot? No, Did you have yeah. to do tippy toes? No, I w- maybe tippy toes. But it wasn't like I had to pee up. You're like, I'm going to get most of it in there. That home stretch. <laughs> <laughs> I won't have steam. Yeah. Yeah. I remember that was when it was on my 30th birthday and I was doing a Cobbs weekend and I didn't want to wake up on my 30th birthday on a friend's couch, you know? I thought you were going to say peeing in a sink. <laughs> so I was like, I'm going to get a hotel. And then I got that hotel. I was like, this is much sadder. <laughs> yeah. This is much sadder than... Uh, just stayed on a friend's couch. Mm-hmm. So I learned that lesson. It's a hard one to learn. Yeah. That is a tough one to learn. Yes. But it's over. <laughs> 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 and that's happy endings with Torio. <laughs> hey, look at the bright side. It's all over. <laughs> <laughs> Things aren't going well, Zach. You, can get you have to take your wins wherever you can find them. You can get through anything with that positive <laughs> outlook. This will end right. at some point. It has to. It has to end. It yeah. better end. It's going to end. Okay. <laughs> you promise? Yeah. I mean, I look back on my life and I'm blown away. At, you know, like I never thought I'd have a bidet. Yeah, you're crushing it. I have a bidet. Emily Everybody a has bidet. a bidet. I don't, I don't have a bidet. bidet. Dude, are you going to put a bidet in the van? No. Because you need it's a, a waste water of water. Tank. Yeah. Gray water bidet? I have a water tank, but I'm not going to hook it up to a bidet. <laughs> gray, gray water bidet sounds sketchy. Yeah. Um, just dishwater. I think that'd <laughs> actually be considered black water. Gray water is like for the hand washing and like, but wouldn't the bidet be hooked up to where you shit? 
It's no <laughs> yeah. longer gray water. No, no, I wasn't talking about that. I was talking about water like from your sink going into your Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. From the tank. Not your actual shit water. <laughs> going in. Did you learn how to like empty the septic or whatever? No, I haven't even hooked that up yet. But oh, okay. uh, I can't believe that like I learned how to do it. Like I have electricity just in this van. And that shouldn't be That's that cool. easy. That's cool. Did you do the easy. wiring? Yeah. Whoa. And didn't electrocute myself. That's pretty awesome. It is awesome. It, the idea of it's very awesome. Yeah. But like, uh, we should all be. We should all get solar pa- power. Oh, did you get one of those like uh, Tesla fuel cell things? No, I can't afford that. I just have three solar panels, and they hook up to like just gel batteries, just like regular batteries. They look like car batteries. Well, that's cool. My parents have solar, and they have this huge like Tesla battery hooked up to their house. It's that's crazy like looking. One. It's that's like ion, super right? like, yeah, high. Yeah, your parents like, they're super rich, right? Everything I hear, they have like a. Pl- Your dad owns a plane. Yeah, yeah it's like a vintage plane. Just sounds it's more like expensive. It's just like his hobby. Damn, dude, I want to be rich. Yeah, but you I mean, they probably you like do that. When they probably have the money. same amount of money I as would your travel. parents. They probably just spend it Time. on different things. I mean, did your parents just rebuild? They a house? just bought a house. <laughs> yeah. That's a lot of money. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's what our generation is known for never being able to afford. We're never going to be able to have my house. Yeah. Moving on. What I don't know what to <laughs> say. What do you want to What are we talking about? I don't even know where we left it. Oh, you were like, your parents must be rich to be able to do that. And then you said, if I was rich, or I, you said, I can't wait to be rich. I'll never be rich, huh? No, what I was going to say is if you were rich... You wouldn't buy a vintage plane and learn to fly it. Maybe. Maybe. Yeah, maybe. Yeah. I feel like when you're rich, you don't really know what your hobbies are till you get rich. Sorry. Mm-hmm. I said that wrong. But like, I don't even know what I'd be about right. with money. Because like, you got to get bo- you got to get money and then get a little bored. Right. And then you're like, I'm going to try a bunch of shit. Yeah. Like, Turns I could out I love a- sailing. Yeah. I had no idea. Right. Or I could become a golf addict. And I'd like never play. Yeah. Um skeet shooting i feel like i'd want to do that a lot just it's get like funny a how... really high-end shotgun and go shoot clay targets yeah that'd be fun i feel like the word rich is like it's almost like uh people don't want to like i'm not rich because it's like it's so equated to like evil now mm-hmm. they'll be like man your parents are even you are like my parents aren't rich no and i get it they're not like, i didn't say that they're That's not like different. next level rich what's different it's different. You, if I go, you're rich. Right. You would go, yeah. <laughs> if it was if you. If I was rich. Yeah. But if but your parents are rich means something different. Right, right. So no, then, but I don't think, yes, absolutely you're right. But I think if somebody, if if I made like good money and someone's like, you're rich, I'd be like, I'm not rich. Because like someone's always richer and you're like. If I made good money and, and okay, if I'm I'm rich. In this hypothetical okay. situation, and you go, you're rich. This is what I would do. Go ahead. No, but what I'm saying is like, say it. No, no, no. Hold on, because what I'm saying is like, if you make like 300 grand a year, that's rich. I get what you're saying, but that's not like the grass will always be greener. No, no, no. But I'm saying that's not like uh, you can quit your job, rich. You know what I mean? It's not like yeah. Anyways, but I'll call you rich. Yeah, Zach, you're rich, dude. I. Uh, I've been very fortunate. I do well. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's been a good year. Uh huh. Yeah. That's and just great. so we're clear, everyone, I am rich. <laughs> <laughs> I was trying to be coy. Right. But also rich. I'd be coy rich. Yeah, that's the move. Yeah. For sure. It's like you don't even want it. Right. Yeah. It's like, I mean, you know, some of us are born, you know, just blessed. And who am I to just turn my head on this blessing? You yeah. Know? I got to, uh, you know, wealth is only, uh, you know, these possessions aren't all that that wealth is. So I'm going to jetpack a home. <laughs> uh, to my loving family, which do make me rich. Who live in a house in the sky. Yeah. <laughs> which there's only like three of them now. Yeah. That's how rich a, I am. A lot of them have fallen. 
a lot on the phone. <laughs> <laughs> but hey, the price we pay. But mine didn't. <laughs> um, speaking of rich, Jeff Bezos. Bill Gates, you mean? No, Jeff Bezos. What about him? He uh, didn't donate to Guy Fieri's restaurant uh, fund re- foundation. Guy Fieri got all these huge conglomerates, mm-hmm. like corporate sponsors to donate money to restaurant owners across America. Mm-hmm. And like Pepsi and Procter Gamble or whatever. All these rich people words, you know, that I know means just a lot of money. Berkshire Hathaway. Yeah, I think they did. Uh-huh. And Bezos said, nah. I doubt it went like directly to Bezos, though. Yeah, I think Guy Fieri could probably get get Bezos on the horn. No oh, way. You don't think so? No. Ooh, Guy know. Fieri? Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> <laughs> you got this your little back. Amazon goes- corner, and then that's just a small slice of diners this just goes- drive-ins <laughs> dives this just goes back to the conversation earlier there's like rich and then there's always a next level of rich yeah so fieri's rich yeah bezos is i don't talk to guy fieri rich mm-hmm. yeah 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 <laughs> i mean he's the richest man in the world is he because he got divorced that changed things oh yeah i think he still is i think he got richer but now bill gates is getting divorced which is what I thought you meant. No, I haven't talked about that yet. Are you okay? Because I know you're a huge Melinda Gates Foundation fan. Oh, I'm getting with Melinda. Patron? I'm already DM'd her. <laughs> like a motherfucker. Like a literal motherfucker. <laughs> Do they have kids? Yeah. yeah, they have kids. Yeah, they have kids. They're rich. Okay, sorry, I don't know. <laughs> you never hear about them. Speaking of just nice kids. We offended some Hezbos. Oh, we did offend some Hezbos. Really? Yeah. Yes. I, I knew we were gonna. It's funny because Zach was like, I don't know if I should post this video. And I was like. I was surprised you posted that because it was like kind of taken out of context. Too. Totally. But like, I feel like everyone who watches us understands we're kidding. Just joking. I didn't understand the like. I was surprised. I wasn't uh, like, I'm surprised you were surprised you posted it. I, I hesitated and about posting I, And it. I was surprised that you... I was like, whatever. It's just a joke. I yeah. I ran it by Tori when we were about to pot. I'm like, I made this video about us. But I, we're like you, shitting on parenthood. You didn't even tell me. I was like, who cares? Put it, post it. Yeah. I I'm not even going to watch it. Who got mad? Some some lady. A lady posted something like... It, I hate I hate the way she did it. Because it was like... She was like, I like following y'all, but... Stick to what you know Stick about. Stick to what you know about. And it's like, well, then we would talk about nothing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's also like, I apologize that up until now you thought we knew anything. Yeah, right. <laughs> that isn't fair but for you. It is funny how like when people posted us were stupid for thinking the moon landing wasn't real. <laughs> that yeah. was fun for me. Right. But then when she posted that, I was kind of like, all right, like I didn't want to like pissed this lady off. i didn't want to like upset parents but also like i don't give a fuck about your kids right <laughs> any kids not her specifically right like i don't care about kids yeah and uh so it's weird right it's like i don't want to upset someone i also do feel like that joke was fine yeah and it was it was like uh i edited it out of context right when so what was edited th- what yeah, was the con- edited it <laughs> edited, edited it, it. Edited, edited it, it. <laughs> tough one it is yeah so I edited it. <laughs> <laughs> I, can't say that. I mean, I can say it, but I feel like. So what was the context that was taken out? Well, it was just a larger conversation about totally. kids, I think. Yeah. yeah. Um, and I think we, like, we could have included a part. We didn't say this because we never really do disclaimers because I think everyone knows we're kidding. Right. Except for a select few, apparently. Yeah. But. You know, if I ended it on a, on a note of us being like, just kidding, um, I, I'm sure it is a beautiful experience. <laughs> <laughs> and then just and the, then the logo. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah. Uh, just kidding. You know, my wife and I are actually trying. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, who knows what the future holds? <laughs> That's <be shit. laughs> it's a great idea. <laughs> It'd be funny too if the disclaimer was just you, like 
at your house. Clearly not. We didn't say it as part of the pod. You yeah. just added it to the end of every <laughs> video. It's just like you pooping, like selfieing, and just, you know, it's all. I hope to be a father someday. <laughs> Any toilet paper? I'd start watching Eclipse. <laughs> so, yeah. I don't know. Do we apologize? What what, what happens? None of us. Com- I, w- I was like wondering if one of you would comment on it. What was her name? I don't remember. I don't remember her name. I almost commented, but I didn't want to like, I feel bad when people <laughs> do that and then get like hmm. humiliated for it. You know, I'm like right. too nice. I wonder if she unfollowed us. I should check. Maybe. I'm gonna yeah. Go, I'm going to go look at it. I'm yeah. Curious. Um, I mean, yeah, it's one of those things with comedy. It's like, I never want to hurt people's feelings, but I can't be sorry if right. their feelings get hurt. So right. it's like, do you apologize? Yeah. And I guess the answer is no. Right? Yeah. Like I, but that, so that's my sentiment. I yeah. I, I'm sorry that you had your dumb feelings hurt. Yeah. Yeah. Sorry. I shouldn't have said dumb. I'm sorry <laughs> that you had your very real. I'll edit in me on the yes. toilet going. <laughs> feelings aren't dumb. <laughs> we were just kidding. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, and please unfollow us if you don't want to. Um, if you want to unfollow us, I do not care. I Even d- though at the beginning of every episode, I beg for you to follow us. Yeah. All right, let's let's compromise. Okay. Tell ten of your friends to follow us, and then you can unfollow <laughs> us. Then you can leave. <laughs> <laughs> That's the Hesby deal. <laughs> kids are the worst, though. Totally. The worst. I really like kids. I like, hung out with my three-year-old nephew last weekend i'm still like recovering it was a nightmare why it's just like so much energy doing Mm. stuff all the time getting into everything and like not listening to you at all oh that's a problem and like so like he had like a cup like on the table right here yeah and it was just like that was me and he kept like going like this (laughs) and i kind of like i didn't say anything but i like looked at him like don't do that and then he like made eye contact and just he like knocked not, it off the table. That's like awesome. knew exactly what he was doing. Yeah, so he's like problem child. Remember that movie? It's like that. Yeah, kid, it's like where it's like every dude, three year old, I think. But it's just like yeah, how they, do you handle? They this? need some conflict in their life. Yeah. They don't get other conflicts. Yeah. I mean, my niece and nephew are like the best, mm-hmm. and it's still exhausting to hang out with them. It's just like right. It's just it's nonstop exhausting. playing. Yeah. yeah, it is exhausting. And uh, I don't want to do it. I don't right. Want, I mean, I don't want to have kids. I I want kids. I do want kids too, though. That is the thing. Oh, you but do. Then it's like you don't have no, to be like me. You can no, have I'm just your own saying thing. like because then I'm like I don't want kids, and then you think about, it, and then I think about it, and I'm like, that's kind of sad though. That you, know? you don't. I don't think it's sad. To no, not it's not. Want kids. No, it's sad to think of my life without kids at any point. Oh, you know I what see I mean? what you mean. Because mm-hmm. we are getting to that point. Yeah. I mean, I know we're men. You and I. Right. But like, there's I'm a, getting to that point. Well, no, I mean, I feel like I'm getting to that point, too. You know? Right. I don't have kids after 40. Right. I want to be young enough to, like, play. Mm Mm-hmm. Totally. (coughs) So, maybe we'll hit that lady I'm going to get it right. You know, I'm kind of (coughs) fearful because, like, both generations, for, like, several generations on my family, (coughs) there hasn't been, like, a father figure. Either like from them dying while the kid was young, mm-hmm. so I'm like afraid something's gonna happen. Mm. I feel like it's like a family curse. Ooh. Yeah, on both sides. Like no matter what my intentions are or how much I plan, it's like it's not up to me. I could see you dying young. Yeah, like because you would be uh, a, <laughs> yeah, be good for your legacy too. I'm glad everyone loves you. You know what's so funny is I feel so old mm-hmm. that that flatters me. <laughs> No, it, is it means fu- I'm not old yet. No, it's funny how like uh, if we were to die, it's not s- we're not so young that mm-hmm. it's tragic, you know. Yeah, like, well, you got a good life, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah, 30, Did a four, lot 30, of four, things. Thirty-five years. Yeah, yeah. Okay. yeah, that was all he had to kids, offer. Kids, I think, were maybe the last, but wasn't gonna have he kids. wasn't gonna have kids. <laughs> <laughs> no, but in your scenario, you would have the kid, right? And then you die. Yeah. Damn, I'll raise your kid. <sighs> Never mind, I don't want kids. <laughs> Who would raise your kid if you died? If both if, me and Elizabeth yes. died? Yeah. Uh, we've discussed it. Damn. 
It's a dark conversation, but it's one you got to have. Yeah. Uh, probably Jesse. Well, we thought Jesse, but we thought that's like a lot to put on someone, mm-hmm. you know, who's like not in that place in life. He'd be good. And then he was offended. He's like, what do you mean not in that place? I'm like, you know, like you're like, you'd like to go out with your friends. Like we wouldn't want to have to give you this complete change of pace. You know, we have other friends who have a kid who right. have that structure. You know what I think the weirdest thing about that would be is that for me, like if you, if you gave, let's say I was Jesse, yeah. you know, you gave me your kid is now I have to have, not only do I have to raise kids, which is tough, mm-hmm. but now I have to have this, con- this relationship with your parents and E's parents. Cause they're like the grandparents of the kid. Yeah. And it's like, so you're, and they would probably be like hurt that they exactly that they weren't picked. No, picked. they wouldn't. They wouldn't. Um, my mom, maybe. But Elizabeth's parents, I don't think they want. Okay, to, they but, don't want her. But they'd be hypercritical kids again because it'd be like, mm-hmm. "Who are you, <clears throat> taking care of our daughter's and no, they, son's kid?" No, they. If not. that was like all that's left of you, though, that's my mom's that's like good. grateful he's in our life. He married us, so like both of them know how much he means. To right. Us. So it's not like this out of left field. Like your friend who? No, I know that. I'm just saying like. But they don't know how he lives his life, and they're gonna, you know what I mean? Like they don't, they don't really know anything about him, other than that you, that you were really close and that you picked business him. owner. No, I'm not saying Jesse's a bad guy. I'm just saying whoever it is, like you have, not only are you taking over these kids, now you have these two families, right? That are kind yeah. of like in your life forever now. Yeah, yeah. That's that's like that's, I think that's a lot. If it was you, I think the parents would be like, Yeah, okay, I get it. Which I get one's it. Torio? Okay, again? I get it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But no, no matter not, who I'm it not, is. I'm not trying to insult but you. But no matter I'm who saying, it like, is. They would be like, I don't think I've oh, met Torio. Torio. <laughs> yeah, my mom doesn't even call you Torio. She calls you Oh Torio. Oh Torio. <laughs> no, no jokes. About what? Just like the mom sex thing. You always take it there. No, you're talking about. When the word mom comes up. When have I ever made a your mom joke? All the time. What are you talking about? Are you picturing me and your mom having sex? No. Why? Then I've would fought. you bring it up? I've actually worked a lot with my therapist to not do that huh. because you always joke about it. I've never made that joke, so that's weird that you would say that. You have. I have never. What? Yeah. And you're making me feel like I'm tripping. When we lived together at the Hesby house, uh huh. you didn't always make jokes about my mom. Never. I would say that's what she said. Maybe you want. Maybe you think of me as a father figure. <laughs> <laughs> maybe that's what it is. No. Oh. I think of Tony Soprano as a father figure. <laughs> that was sad. <laughs> yeah, that is sad. You know what? Also, it's like a. I've been watching Mayor of East Town on HBO. Yeah, sad. And I love it. Oh, it's great. It's so great. But I haven't thought about it being sad yet. And then like mm. John Oliver was on after and like made a joke. Like, I mean, it's the saddest thing since Mayor of East Town or something like that. And I'm like, is it that sad? It's not that sad. Wait, it's not I'm like, not. I've oh, I've watched the first episode. And it took me like halfway through the episode to realize that they weren't saying mayor. <laughs> <laughs> I thought they were saying mayor with an accent. You didn't and they read were like, the title? They were, hold on. <laughs> I thought they were, she was the mayor and they kept That's calling her funny. mayor. Oh, hey, mayor. And the, hey. Ma- the mayor was just a detective. And then I like looked at the title again and I was like, oh, that's interesting that they chose to spell it like phonetically <laughs> <laughs> Real for the school. accent and then i realized like oh that's her name that's okay. super funny that is funny i felt dumb that is you're like god this mayor wears a lot of hats <laughs> uh, and yeah and i was like she dresses like really sloppy for a mayor <laughs> funny who do you think did did you watch the third episode last night I, well, fourth i believe Let's oh, I've only watched third, two. Third, I've only watched third, two. Third, last. I've only watched one. Spoiler alert! No, I'm just kidding. I haven't. I love it. I love it, man. I really the like accents. it. Accents. It sucks because I watched the first episode with someone, and they didn't like it. Oh, and bummer! Then, so I was like, oh yeah, no, yeah, you're right. It's not that good. But in my head, I'm like, I can't wait for the second episode. In your head, you're like, this is why we don't watch things outside, outside of room. Of room. <laughs> I should have put. It <laughs> The person's like, I don't like this that much. I'm like, should have been in room. <laughs> what? I miss room. <laughs> <laughs> Torio uh, is the kid from room. room. <laughs> <I miss> room. <laughs> Take me back to room. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's messed up. 
But it is time for everyone's favorite segment. <laughs> to end it with a banger? End it with a banger. Yeah. Oh, uh, I will be in at Cobb's for the first time. Or no. So I'm at Cobb's next weekend, okay. May 12th to 15th. And I was thinking about this. It's the first time I've done a club feature weekend since my album came out. Holy 15 shit. months ago. Right? So like I had all these dates lined up from like April 2020 on yeah. to kind of do the So I'm like, do I sell my re- album? Yeah. Yeah. Why I mean, I guess you? I have to, right? Wait, you're featuring for who? Alice Wetterland. Oh, sick. And uh It's a one-off or is it a whole weekend? It's Friday, Saturday, but then I'm doing the two Wednesday, Thursday are like the local showcase. Oh, hell that should yeah. Be fun. Yeah. Sorry. That's tight. And uh why, yeah, why wouldn't you sell your album? Well, because it's so old at this no. point. No. Dude, no one thinks like that. You could sell your album forever. No uh. one yeah, no one leaves a show being like, and what's the date on this album? <laughs> yeah. They're like, oh cool, you have an album. Yeah. So yeah, I I'll probably try it. Cause I have all those vinyls. Yeah. And it's like but yeah, no, I think be. you're worrying about the wrong thing. Like, I you don't think that's it, a thing. You know what it is? It's 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 less like I just worry about selling merch. It just feels weird to me. Yeah, and you're gonna have to say it on stage. You're gonna yeah, be like, no, I'm selling my album after the show. What a joke. Yeah. Yeah, I'll probably riff about how it, my album came out right before COVID. Really, right. there you go. Really milk them. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So you can hear the hope in my voice if you missed yes. it tonight. <laughs> there you go. Yeah, dude, take that. Honestly, take that. Take that joke. And I can have that amazing we, bit after this episode. I got a few more things that I think you should take. <laughs> <laughs> I got a few bits. So, you, so not have, just notes, full bits. Uh, oh, so but it's not I like punchlines for my bits. No, it's okay. A total pivot from who you are on stage have you ever like written not written but like thought of a joke and be like i could never tell that it doesn't work for me but uh like think of a friend that you know be like i'll be so good for him or even something that like doesn't i think of like act outs all the time but then i'm like i can't do that why (laughs) i can't do accents is it too scary to be like that vulnerable yeah but also like i'm just not good at them like i can't commit that much but like you know you've seen an old show being bad at them can be the funniest fucking thing right oh yeah but it's not those okay it's different i get i'm with emily like if i would never do something that didn't feel right or fun because then what's the point Mm -hmm. (laughs) right but i mean it's a bit that you thought of so you're just you know what i mean so i assume there's something right or fun about it that makes you uh, write it out you're assuming a lot (laughs) I did my caveman bit recently for uh-huh. the first time in a long time, and I acted it out harder than I've ever acted it out, and it crushed, and I was like, oh, I shouldn't have done that. Mm-hmm. I, I didn't want to know how good it could do if mm-hmm. I really sold it. That Why? Because I don't want to be the guy that's like running around the stage like a caveman. Like It's just not, it's just not me. Yeah. Yeah. And then it's like, okay, now I'm going to go back to standing stationary for the next 30 minutes. Yeah. You know? Well, you know what I would say? More act More outs, act baby. Outs. <laughs> yeah. I say get lowered to the stage in a cage. <laughs> and they go, the world's greatest wonder, Toyo Van Grohl. And you're like, rah, rah. <laughs> uh-huh. <laughs> it'd, be, uh, it'd be interesting. <laughs> it'd be different. You break out of the cage or you bend the bars. Mm-hmm. Run for your lives, everyone. He's about to murder. <laughs> <laughs> and then a mic lowers. Industry term. <laughs> <laughs> oh my lowers. How everybody doing tonight? <laughs> Give it up for wait staff. <laughs> Give it up. <laughs> tip. <laughs> you tip. The sad thing is that would totally work. It would yeah. destroy. It would kill in the back too. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Comics would actually love that. I mean, the unless it's like you. your fiftieth time doing it. Yeah. Yeah. Or if a comic like doesn't know you, they're like, "Yeesh, that Torio guy's a lot." <laughs> I remember uh, there's a there's a SF comic that uh, doesn't act out. You all know him. He closes on it. Does it every crushes all the time. And uh, I remember him doing it at like a Sketchfest show, and there was like LA headliners on it, and they were mm-hmm. just like, and we were in the back, and they were just like, "Yeah, San Francisco. That's what you get when you're in San Francisco." And it was like. We're a joke. Alt comedy. Or... Uh, I don't know about that. 
because LA is like way worse. Yeah, for, LA like has that kind worse. of stuff. LA is yeah. a freak show. But the yeah, but these comics weren't. They were like club comics, right? You right, know, right, like right. the New York style club comics. Totally. Where it's like, well, we're in San Francisco. Yeah. You know, they would say the same thing about we're on the east side of LA. Yeah, it's you know, it's just insecurities. Like I do the mm-hmm. same thing where I'm just like, you know, this crowd likes this. I don't like them anymore. And it's I just the part of you that's like, does my comedy work? Right. <laughs> you know, it, because it's like, hey, put on a blazer, roll up the uh, sleeves, sleeves, and tell jokes, structured jokes. <laughs> right. Tell me Set the thing up. about something. Yes. <laughs> You know, it's like whenever comedy gets rigid, it's like. I think what it is, too, is like there's a comedy is competitive, like even on on a showcase, especially. It's like who's going to have the best set. Yes. And then when you see someone do something like that, it's like, well, we're not playing the same game. Right. You know what I mean? Totally. So it's like it doesn't seem fair. Yeah. Right. Or somebody like cues music from the back. Yeah. And it's like, well, that's cheating. Right. Totally. You know, totally. the whole yeah, thing. That's cheating. Yeah. <laughs> right. It's just like, oh, I didn't think about that. Yeah. That's yeah. yeah. why, <laughs> why everyone hates prop comics. Right. It's like, yeah. dude, you can't bring stuff. <laughs> and no. musicians. It's like, oh, I can't play guitar. Right. It's cheating. Right. Yep. That's why uh, it was so funny to me when I saw Rory Scope alive and he had the piano on stage at yep. Punchline and he just I did not know how show. to play. He would just <laughs> bing, 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 and then tell a joke. <laughs> He kind of knew how to. He play had it. some bits with it that yeah. went along with it, yeah. but it wasn't like Zach Galifianakis yeah. where he could like just like play like totally, you know, yeah. casual music, lounge music. I think if I would like, it'd be amazing just to put like a whole symphony, just all the instruments, right? And just never play one, right? <laughs> just like they're just, just in case I get the inspiration at the end mm-hmm. of your set when you're getting to your closer, mm-hmm. uh, maybe like fifteen people come out. And <laughs> go get to like each instrument's area, and they just tink and they pack it up. <laughs> <laughs> Don't mind them; it's fine. I'll be selling my album. That's my cue to wind down. No, they walk out and you go. Do you guys have to do this now? <laughs> and they think you mean play, so they're like, "Sorry." And like, All right, well, give it up for them. <laughs> I'm so sorry about this. Yeah. And then they walk out, and everyone's like, "What's happening?" And then That'd they be funny. That you just, just like I picture them like blowing on like get all the spit out. Right. Things like that. Can you does it have to be that loud? Right. Yeah. Yeah, they do the little test thing yeah, and yeah. just take it off completely. <laughs> put it in a case. That'd be fun. Do alt fun. comedy? We're oh. alt now. We are <laughs> so alt. Because <laughs> you don't need a punchline. That's what's fun mm. about it. There's a very alty comic down here in LA who like would do like the mic at the improv and potluck would like never pick him because they're like, dude, no. Mm-hmm. And uh, he'll like plead with the booker on stage as like his bit. Like, uh, give, you know, give it up for uh, me. And, uh, you know, I would love to uh, perform here. Uh, it's And it's weird, but it will, you know, when it hits with every comedian in the room knows him, right it's like the fun funniest yeah, yeah. thing ever but uh, at potluck they were like mad i remember i was there that were night. you there because i remember you telling me this guy's like the the bell of the ball at the improv right here, i hate him right because yeah. it's like dude and he bumped we're not that yeah we're not that like one of the bartenders said something yeah like, it was pretty like loud. do i really have to get off when that light uh comes on and they're like yes yeah. get off now yeah it was great i think they lit him early love it Fuck them. Fuck everyone. Especially that lady's kids. I can't reiterate that enough. 